and we're back and in this video I'm going to show you a quick way to create a smoke text effect in Adobe Photoshop. I've got a black background here and I'm going to add some text with the horizontal type tool. Just left click, I'll type in smoke, then I'll press ctrl T, make sure it's white obviously, then I'll press ctrl T and I resize it. Then press ctrl A to select it all and use the align menu on the top, then I'll press ctrl D to deselect it. Now right click on your text layer and convert it to a smart object. Now you go to filter, blur and add a shape blur. Click on the settings icon and I've used the artistic templates. Just click on it and then on OK and you've got these shapes to select from. Let me show you what they do as long as previous activated up here you can see the effect applied directly. Increase the radius and you can cycle through the different shapes. So this effect takes a lot of processing power from your CPU. So you want to start with a low pixel and then increase it further and further. And one of these shapes down here, they're very good for showing these smoke ladder effects. If you want to make it more custom, you can add one of these filters to each ladder and make it look different. Another effect that I like to use is to add some noise on the filter, noise, add noise, not that much just a tiny bit, make sure previous activated, I don't know, it should be below 2, I would say I'll use Gaussian and the monochromatic should be checked, uh, 3 that was too much, but we've got it converted into a smart object, so simply double click on your add noise you can see the difference with and without the noise and I've said that's too much so I double click on add noise and I'll bring it down a little bit. Let me go to one and it looks way better. And this is how you can quickly create this smoke text effect in Adobe Photoshop. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.